Well guys, thanks for coming back to another video. Today, I am going to put together a plate quench vise um, because I finally got my heat treat oven ordered um, so I won't have to send out any of my stainless uh, and dama steel and all that stuff that I've been doing lately. I've been having to send it out, wait, get it back. So I finally ordered that. We got this big uh, workbench put together that you guys can probably see um, and we made this big enough to where my heat treat oven is going to go kind of right here. And then um, I'm going to put the plate quench vise probably over here, have maybe a nice quench tank right here. It's big enough to where, well, it's kind of huge actually, as you can't tell, it's kind of huge. But uh, anyways, so what we're going to do is kind of convert one of these six inch woodworkers vices and this is like the cheapo one, so I hope it works. You know, we're gonna find out um, into a plate quench vise. And then I picked up a couple of these aluminum blocks. And these are one inch by four inch by 12 inch. So obviously I can't do any jumbo blades with it, but I feel like that should be big enough for what I do. Um, I'll try to put a link to where I got this. This was from Harbor Freight. And I think it was only around $20 or something. I mean, it's super cheap. They have like a $70 version as well um, that I know a lot of people use. Uh, so I'm going to kind of try this out, see how it works. And um, yeah, hope it works for what I need to do. But my plan is, you can see it has this little, let me get in closer. Like this little mounting bracket here, which I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use this. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is kind of cut this little tab off. And let's see where we're at here. You might be able to see, I'm going to use these little mounting holes to just bolt it right to the side of the table. And this is, this is made out of two by fours, like it's super thick. So I should be able to run some lag bolts into it. And I think you guys can kind of see my process. So I've got to figure out how to mount these aluminum plates in here like that, which basically I just need to drill and tap holes. There's already holes in these to mount it. So I'll just figure out what size bolt and stuff. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna, it's gonna look like that kind of, you guys can tell. So I'm gonna get working on it and uh, kind of build it as I go and try to record as much as I can. So stay tuned guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so I've marked a little center spot on those so I know kind of where this is gonna line up on here. And what I'm doing is kind of just lining it up center and I'm gonna put a little scratch spot here where these holes need to be. And I'm gonna use, uh, I think it already moved on me though. Yep, but I'm gonna use uh, quarter 20 size uh, bolts because that's the size tap I have that's not broken um, and I think I'm gonna have to drill these holes out just a tiny bit uh, but I don't want to go crazy with it because there's like some support around them that I don't want to get rid of so I'm gonna drill these out uh, just like one little step more I'm gonna mark these spots here drill and tap these and uh, See how it goes. I think it's going to work out good. Sorry, the sun's shining through here on my drill press, but what I did is I put a little piece of tape on the bit to mark how far down I want to drill uh, because obviously I don't want to go all the way through these plates. Um, I just want to drill down maybe three quarters of an inch or a little less than that. So that's what I got my tape set at. So I'm ready to drill these. I got my center holes pushed in there and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. pretty good all right so I've got my got my two holes drilled 
I'm going to put a little bit of oil on them and uh, I'm going to try to tap them here. I've just got a quarter 20 tap in my drill. I'm going to try to get it nice and straight. Seems to be working good. to the bottom there. Oh yeah. So the only issue I may have is I might have to shorten my one inch bolts a little bit if I didn't get it deep enough. But uh, let's see. Let's see if it works. I actually have to run to the store and get a couple more of these quarter 20s. I think these are one inchers. But it works. It's pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side and uh, maybe just assemble this one side and see how it works and then uh, go to the next one. If you guys buy this same one um, to do this, all I took is a quarter inch drill bit and uh, just to clean these holes out, there's just, it's the right size, it's just there's that uh, powder coat or whatever they use on this, makes it to where these quarter 20 bolts don't go quite through. But see, now we're good to go and our length is looking pretty good. Let's see. think that's going to give us enough uh, bite to hold on to it and it's not going to go through too far so let's uh, put it together and see how it looks all right so that is the general idea and um, it worked good there's enough bite to where those plates are in there really good um, those quarter 20 bolts worked fine for this size and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this other one um, I've got to run to the store, grab a couple more of these bolts. And uh, yeah, but then I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna have to cut this off to get it mounted. I also need to get a couple lag bolts when I'm there to go through these. And I'm going to drill a hole right here, probably in this flat area, because it kind of tapers up, to get one more bolt to go through the table, like you can kind of see there. So there's three bolts that hold it to the table. So it'll be real nice and secure. But my idea at least worked. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work really good. So I buzz that off with a bandsaw. You could use a grinder or whatever to cut that off. It's just cheap pot metal. And so now you can see it sits flush like that. And I'm gonna drill a hole right here to mount it down through here. And then there's already two holes there to go into this table. So looks like it's gonna work really good. I'm gonna put a hole here just using my drill press just like that. I probably won't show it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go run and get some bolts and get this thing finished up. All right, so I picked up these screws to mount this thing, uh, mainly just cause they're that style. I don't know, if, what do you call that? Uh, whatever that head style is, it kind of fits in that spot. And I don't know, it doesn't sit in there very good, but this should work. They're not super, super beefy, but I think for this, it should work. I grabbed those quarter 20 bolts. I grabbed one of these things. You guys ever have one of these? It smells kind of weird. Oh, huh. 
tangy. All right, I'm gonna put, finish putting this thing together. Uh, get these mounted on there. Mount this to the bench and uh, see how it works. All right, I think that's gonna work. Let me show it to you guys. Okay, so I got my one screw there. <sighs> Two in there. So I kind of messed up a little bit and I this is off a little bit, which is not the end of the world, but I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Anyways, so what I'm seeing is it should work. You know, you get unscrew it get your blade in there clamp it the one thing i am seeing is when you go to close this it closes on the one side first but if you clamp it down it closes pretty much flush there so as long as you do it tight it should be good and uh, there you have it so i think that that should work for what i need it to do um overall i've got like i said this vice was i think like 20 dollars or 21 dollars or something like that these plates i ended up buying them off ebay um if you type in one inch by four inch by 12 inch aluminum they should pop up at least they did for me and they were right around 50 dollars. i called around to like a couple of the metal supply companies around me and it was in that range but you know like the one was about seventy dollars for the same thing because they have to cut them and all that stuff so anyways i've got about 70 bucks um into that which i think is about as cheap as you can do it and um now i'm ready to do some plate quenching so hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit uh, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below um hopefully that heat treat oven should be here within a few weeks um i can start figuring it out and uh, doing some cooler steels and stuff like that so Hopefully you guys liked the video. Make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.